Well, there's really only a half day left on the seeds, so I thought I'd finalize this out. I used to uh, take them out of the jar and uh, eat them. Of course, you can't tell anything from a video, but these always smell bad, they always taste bad, they're very watery. These are North Pole exposed seeds. These were exposed for uh, 30 minutes along the uh, centrifugal edge of either quote-unquote pole of the magnet. These are the North Pole, these are the South Pole. You see how much taller the South Pole seeds are. They're greener, they're lusher, they've grown taller. And importantly, here you can see all the dead seeds on uh, the uh, North Pole. There's a lot of dead seeds there. They're also two, they're clumped up like a ball, as I've mentioned. They always form this really matted, very matted uh, ball in the jar. And then I've done this experiment dozens and dozens of times, literally. You yourself can uh, perform it as well. You would need a uh, at least a two inch by two inch by one inch neodymium. They're like forty dollars now on eBay to perform the experiment. Um, I know that uh, North Pole's exposed tomato seeds come out a lot less acidic. However, they do come out smaller and mealier. That's kind of a term, a mealy tasting, meaning kind of lacking in flavor. Same thing always happens with the alfalfa sprouts. These taste a lot better. They taste like uh, natural sprouts. And uh, I think this is the last seed experiment video. I think people are tired of the seed experiment videos, maybe. See how much taller these are? Look how they're growing up in a linear, parallel fashion, as they should. These are all like intertwining like a, uh, I'm trying to like make a, uh, I don't know if you've seen the inside of an old baseball, but it's just like twine wrapped around and matting itself. I mean, you can see that. I mean, there's no way I could fake that. It's absolutely impossible. These are mostly going parallel, straight up. These are wrapping around and twisting around each other. Um, so that's it. I hope you liked uh, these experiments. Like I said, don't take my word for it to perform the test yourself. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.